is my Chrysler Pacifica 2005 SUV. This isn't the van, uh, van model, this is an SUV model. And we decided to build it out to a mini camper. Well, the front is normal. We didn't do anything different to the front. I did get these WeatherTech rain covers for the windows, which come in handy. It's got 200 watt of solar panel on the roof. The Renogy Eclipse panels that take up less space and have more power. All the way around are spotlights for use when I get to a campsite I can turn a light on. Rick's made up bed frame rails for the frame for around the solar panel. We ran the solar panel in through the hatch. Didn't drill a hole in the roof. Ran it in through the hatch. And, it and this is the inside at the back. This vehicle has more than what you think. It's got little cubby spaces for storage in here. It's got 12 volt plugs at the back. The trailer hitch. It's got storage underneath. Down in here is a diesel heater. Of course, you have your seal and smoke detectors up here. I got to replace the smoke detector. And here's the inside. This is the interior. I've got cabinets for storage on either side. Cabinets over here. The diesel heater exits there. I've got a little bit of storage for odds and ends like hand sanitizer, dog bags, fly spray, stuff like that. And my first aid kit on the back. A little fold up table. This is the counter. This is a cupboard that has all my utensils, my bowls, my silverware. And here is the kitchen sink. kitchen sink was made from a salad bowl with a hole drilled in the bottom of it and a bar sink drain put in the bottom. I've used a USB powered tap. This was bought off of Amazon. And we countersunk the, the top of the sink where we cut it out so that we got a whole flat counter. The sink drains down into a gray water tank at the bottom, fresh water tank at the bottom, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is our countertop. We made a slide out support for it so that you can eat at it. You got lots of room here. And then it just folds back down in out of the way. I got USB plugs here, 12 volt. I've got a little LED light across the top for different colors. There's six LED lights, puck lights in the ceiling and the switch is on the door here with the diesel heater switch. We got a little bit of storage here. 
I made up these panels here for the windows and I put two computer fans in and then that sits up in the window like that and I did a video of this already so it'll draw the heat and air through so there's air circulation and they just kind of tuck up into here I've also got my rear window covers up in there Under the seat, I store my side window covers. And the best thing about the seat, this piece folds out, and it folds down into an instant bed. And then when I want to put it back up, And under the bench here is a 150 amp cold weather lithium battery. It's got a built in heater, it's made by Canbat. The fuse panel is down under here. We've got the diesel pump under here, and then just some food storage and stuff over on this side. 1500 inverter. We've got shore power up here that runs to a plug-in at the back. There's the Noico shore power plug-in. Here is the diesel fuel tank and Rick made it so that it was easy to fill up. You just swing it away from the door, fill it up, so you don't spill it all over the floor. Slide it back in. Lock it back into place. And then it's out of the way. I have a solar uh, panel charge controller and a DC to DC charge controller, Victron. And that runs into the battery down there. Down here is my gray water tank. I just use two gallon jug. Water two gallon jug. It goes up to the pump. The gray water tank here. It's easy enough to take out. I threw up a quick little clothesline for my paper towel. Some lilacs. Clothes pegs. where the diesel fumes come out and I put the pipe on there so the fumes blow away from the truck and then I take it off and I make sure that I put it back where it belongs. Everybody always wants to know where you go to the bathroom and I just used a five gallon bucket and ordered a toilet seat lid off of the in internet and I use it mostly just for storing sprays and stuff. My toilet paper's in there. I use a little portable propane butane stove. I set on my counter for cooking. And normally, which I don't have it with me, I keep a little 12 volt Coolatron cooler plug in down here that I use. And I have little USB fans that I plug in and hang up corners for air circulation and that's about it so you don't always need a big 
RV or a big full-size van, you can make do with what you have, if you have it. And that's all you've got. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye for now.